this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today what I wanted to talk about was the distal. Um, we're doing that series of uh, cord hitches. Um, what I'll do is tie the distal with a 24 inch cord and a 30 inch cord. Also I wanted to mention that this is one of the uh, recognized knots that ISA will allow you to use on their tree climber specialist test. All right let's get to it. All right so uh, I'll tie the distal with a 30 inch cord now I think with a 30 inch cord it's it's better to use more wraps and I'd say at least a minimum of five wraps. Um, so to, to do that I'm going to start from the bottom up this time. So um, let me see I'll have the uh, I'll start on this side of the, the line and then I'm going to do the first wrap underneath and then I'll start going upward. Let's see I get some, some cord. Now I'll go up to the top and then I'll wrap four wraps downward. There's one, here goes the second, and then here we go with the third, and then I'll do one more wrap. Here we go, and this is the fourth wrap. So like, I'm going to have to align my legs. I want my legs to be the same length when it's all said and done. So. It's going to take me a little bit of manipulating this a little bit here. Oh, almost there. So I can have to. Okay. There. Now the legs are correct. So the distal is tied correctly. You'll see that it has a cross, almost like a glorified taut line hitch. Or, or even a clove hitch. So you'll see the cross. One leg is going to go this direction. One leg will go this direction. Um, this is what it looks like from the back. Now this is one, two, three, four, and the bottom is the fifth wrap. With legs this long, you want to have um, more wraps because what can happen is when you're moving on it, when you uh, you tend, sometimes it can come a little bit loose on you. So, see how long these legs are? Now you're going to move, they go up. Okay. Now, if you only had like four wraps, there's a possibility that it can come loose on you and you could slide. So, that's the distal with a 30 inch cord. So, uh, now I'm going to tie the distal with the 24 inch cord. Um, and with this one, I'll usually use four wraps. So, uh, and I'm going to go from the top downward instead of going from the bottom up. So to do that, I'll get the length that I think I'm going to need. And then I'll just start wrapping downward. One, two, three wraps. Now with the top one, I'm going to go across and then I'll just going to enter from the other side. And I got to make sure the legs are correct, you know, got to have them equal. So now I'm going to, okay, there we go. So that's about equal right there. And you can see it's the same makeup, but there's three on top, one, two, three, and then the fourth is the bottom. And you still have the cross, so it looks somewhat like a taut line. Um, that's what it looks like in the front, and this is what it looks like in the back. Now I'm going to connect the carabiner to it and a pulley. Okay, there you go. Let me connect this real quick. So I got it on. Put a little bit of weight on it. Okay. Okay, I put a little bit of weight on it and it holds. Um, see how the legs are really short and it's really close to my body. So um, some people like a hitch climber pulley. So, you know, the concern would be these short legs. Let me get the pulley real quick and... So actually a 24 inch would still work with the hitch climber if you wanted to use a hitch climber. You don't have to worry if with the long legs just because you know the legs are long. But with this you could still use the um, hitch climber. You could even connect to the bottom. And there's still plenty of room for, uh, for it to connect. 
All right, so now I have it all tied up. And what I'm gonna do is, before I ascend up the tree, I'll just do that little on rope, rope test, lean back, put my feet up against the trunk, just make sure the knot's gonna hold. Okay, it's gonna hold. So now I'm gonna proceed up and do it by bossy body thrusting. Now for me, I notice that this knot's a little bit tighter on the ascending part. Like it's a little bit harder to pull. All right. So now that I'm in the canopy, what I wanted to do is just show a little bit about these uh, the, the 24 inch legs, how, how there's a little bit less setback. You see, it's really close to my body and I'm not really up high. So every time I'm gonna take a, a step, it just, it's a slight motion. Let me see. So what's cool about it is it's not a real length and there's very little setback. Also wanted to show that uh, same thing with this knot. If you can see how this is pointing upward, it's always a good idea to get two fingers and then you're going to straighten, you're going to pull kind of downward to let loose the knot. Okay, so now I'm going to walk out on the limb over there and uh, just do a real quick limb walk to show what it can do, how it tends. And as I mentioned, for me, it's always been a pretty sticky knot. Um, going upward and even downward, it doesn't really run very fast. Um, but I think it, it could depend on to whatever type of cord you use. So same thing, I'll get two fingers and now I'll pull down to release the knot. Okay. Put a little bit of slack here. Yeah, so it's a lot more sticky than I'm used to. But I know some guys like that. They like to have a knot that doesn't really move really fast. And then to come back in. Yeah, so here it's actually tending pretty nice. So when you're uh, coming in, it's really close to your body. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just descend and I'll, I'll more likely I'm going to do it um, a lot slower. So I find with this one, with the 24 inch cord, this distal is really kind of a tight knot for me to descend on. Um, if you try to blaze it, it, it's even now as I'm coming down, it's getting kind of hot, you know. So um, maybe if you had a 30 inch cord, it might be a little bit quicker. But I think it's better to be safe than sorry. And this, this one is really a slow, slow descending knot. Ah, it kind of sticks a lot on me now you might have a different result if you had 11 millimeter rope maybe even a different uh, pressure cord um, yeah but for me I'd rather use uh, go slow with this 24 inch cord and a distal all right so there you got it the distal so um, that's the distal so when we first did it with the 30 inch cord um, I, I say it's better to do five wraps so one two three four on top and the bottom and when we did this one We went from the bottom up and you could also go from the from the top down um, You'll notice the legs are a lot longer. So when it moves, it's a little bit more free So with the the shorter leg one, it was a lot more sticky Maybe uh, with these longer legs, it might be a little bit more free moving So that's um, the reason why you probably want to use another wrap and on the 24 cord, we did a four wrap distal. So three on top, one, two, three, and the third one on the bottom was a fourth. Now, if you look at them, they both look the same except for just one less wrap. Um, the legs are a lot different. With this setup here, it's a lot more sticky, um, and especially for me. And it could be a matter of my weight, or if you're a heavy guy, maybe it sticks more. Um, could be the diameter of rope and even the different types of cords that you guys use. Um, you remember that on, on something new, 
you always want to go um, work low and slow. Um, try it out, make sure it sticks right. If it starts running, retie it, make sure it's done right. Um, but the way it looks right is you'll have these wraps on top, the three, then you'll have a crossover. And it's the same thing even if you have more wraps. That's the correct part of it. And here's the back sides. Alrighty. Um, yeah, just, just be careful when you're trying something new. I hope you guys like that video. So we're going to keep on working on uh, thoracic cord hitches in the, in the upcoming weeks. Um, like always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you guys like what we do. And if you have friends who like this kind of thing, share our videos. Alright, take care.